Rory Franklin, everybody! <laughs> This is OMGB, on the sofa from Tokyo. I'm just in my house, and like a sofa, I'm relaxing, comfortable, and you wouldn't want to manhandle me out of your living room. Today, I'm really excited to be sitting down and having a chat with silver medal winning Mallory Franklin, everybody! <laughs> Take a seat! Oh, delightful to meet you. How are you doing? I'm very good, thank you. OK, let's uh, just get this one out of the way. Uh, Mallory Franklin. Olympic silver medal at 27. It's taken you some uh, time to get to compete at this uh, event, hasn't it? Yeah, it's been a bit crazy. Like, C1's quite new and then took a few years to get into the Olympics, but it's really cool that it's now here. How's it been since winning that silver medal? Uh, it's been crazy. It's been all, out, been all over the place, trying to do loads of media, catch up with my family as much as I can, and then just trying to eat when I can around it, which has been probably actually the hardest because I've just not been hungry. No. But um, no, it's been really crazy, but really cool. We uh, watched it and we really enjoyed it and we all oh, we were just agonising with you because when you're in first place, waiting for everybody else to go, you have to sit on like a throne, <laughs> don't you, and wait till somebody, and then she turns up, doesn't she? Fox. <laughs> yeah, no, it's really, it's really not very... <laughs> yeah, I mean, I know you like her and she's amazing, <laughs> but I'll be honest with you, I have not had a fox ruin my day since one got hold of my uncle's chickens. <laughs> so when there's, there's, there's only one left, you know, you're guaranteed silver. Did you think she was going to go and... Yeah, I mean, she's definitely capable. I knew she was capable. Um, mm. If there's someone that was sat on that start line that was able to do a run like that, it was going to be her. If I'd have known, I'd have drilled a hole in the bottom of her boat before she started. How does somebody like you start canoeing? How does it happen? Is it a, a family thing? Uh, it was because my older brother was just a little bit too active and needed to try and get him into something to just take a bit of energy away from his school because his teachers were hating him. Yeah. Um, and we just tried to like go and see what sports there were. I went to our local ledge centre and there wasn't really anything there that took any of our fancy, but right next door was our canoe club and they were having an open day, like barbecue, all the boats out, just like go and play. It was a really nice sunny day. Um, and we just kind of were like, let's go see what's going on. We got on and literally never stopped, which is pretty crazy. We're going to play a little round now where we're going to take a missing word out of a tweet that we've received from a member of the public uh, and you see if you can uh, complete it. Are you ready? Alistair Drayton on Twitter. I don't know if you know him, Ali Drake. Is it just me or does Mallory Franklin sound like a 1940s? Oh, I don't know. I did read that tweet, though. Did you? Yeah, I, don't, I can't remember what it said, though. But I did read it. I don't know. Private eye. Did you do sound a bit I, like that? I read all those tweets at like three o'clock in the morning <laughs> when I couldn't sleep, so... It was I a was, guessing game, Mallory. Yeah. It wasn't a, a, a memory test. <laughs> I like the idea that you could be a private eye in a canoe. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? There's been a murder. <laughs> what are we going to do? We're going to send for Mallory Franklin. <laughs> She's paddling her way down the canal right now. <laughs> That'd be good, wouldn't it? Uh, that was from, uh, from our mate Alistair uh, Drayton. Whilst you've been here in this Tokyo bubble, and you've won this silver medal and everyone's been excited. Your fella at home has been absolutely bombarded. Do you think he's enjoyed this press intrusion? I think to some extent, I think he's really enjoyed being able to get the sport out there and be able to just promote me. I mean, he's probably my biz biggest advocate and I think he's been really great and I've I'm not really even caught up with all of what he's done. I've no. been like in my own little world too, but it's been crazy. Because he works for the canoe uh, club or whatever it's called isn't yeah, it? Yeah he works for British Canoeing as British well. British Canoeing that's it not the canoe club that's <laughs> the canoe club's where they have the barbecues isn't it? This is something <laughs> different. Places, yeah. I'm just thinking about that barbecue I'll be honest with you. It was very good I actually remember it to this day. Yeah so. I, I remember I wasn't even there. <laughs> my favourite thing about this show on OMGB but definitely my favourite thing is this phrase show us your medal. Yeah it's uh, here. Here it is beautiful look at that everybody! <laughs> Superb. Uh, you might think that competing is over in Tokyo, but it's not, Mallory. Shall we cup stack? Uh, yeah, go for it. Let's cup stack. <laughs> time will start when you start. Let's see how you get. Are you prepared? Are you ready? Yeah. In your own time, Mallory. Okay, right. <laughs> I'm really stressed. Okay. Ah, no, no! It's all going wrong. Ooh, what was the score, timekeeper? 
been really good to meet you today, Mallory. Uh, well done. Silver medal. We're very, very proud of you. Thank you uh, for what you've done for Team GB. I uh, hope you've enjoyed it again today. If you want to get involved in the conversation, hashtag OMGB. We love hearing uh, what you think of the show. Uh, and join us tomorrow when we'll have another Team GB superstar right here on the sofa. Brilliant stuff. Give it up. It's Mallory Franklin, everybody. <laughs>